Welcome to Inland Empire Alive, bringing you issues, events, and perspectives from throughout San Bernardino and Riverside counties. I'm David Brady, and in today's show, I'll welcome Lakeisha Jackson from City of San Bernardino's Parks and Recreation Department to talk about the 2024 Inland Empire Senior Games and other great events and activities for those 50 and better. That's today on Inland Empire Alive. Joining me now from the City of San Bernardino's Parks and Recreation Department is Lakeisha Jackson, who has a pretty unique role within the city. Talk to me about that. So I am the Community Service Program Supervisor. I oversee senior programs and services for those who are 50 years of age and better at the Fish Street and Parasol Senior Center. Well, let's start at the beginning. Talk to me about those two city-run uh, senior centers. What are they? How big are they? And what kind of things go on there? <laughs> well, both senior centers are brother-sister senior centers. Um, Fish Street is downtown, Paris Hill is in the Paris Hill Park, and basically we provide programming for those who are 50 years of age and better, and I mean it's a place where seniors can get away from the home and socialize, um, get a good meal, and get lots of resources that pertain to them. And there's something happening every weekday, right? Yes. Talk to me about the variety of activities that you offer, and certainly I imagine it must change over the years as sort of tastes come and go? And um, yes, it does. Um, what I do is I ask the seniors what they want because I'm considered a youngin, so it's not about what I want, it's about it's what they want. It's not always shuffleboard? <laughs> no, it's not always shuffleboard. I mean, we have computer club, we have billiard club, um, we have music appreciation where the seniors come, they dance, they do karaoke, and that's brand new to them. Um, we have weekly and sometimes monthly dances where they can come out, socialize, and meet new people. Um, we have arts and crafts, uh, we have card club, um, goodness gracious, we have sewing class, which is a real big, huge class. The ladies come out and they bring all their equipment and they make blankets, they make clothes, they make purses. Um, we just started ukulele club. Um, that's very interesting. They're basically, uh, they get online and they learn how to play the ukulele. What satisfaction do you get from putting on these programs and, and seeing these people thrive in these environments? Exactly what you said. I'm seeing them thrive. Some of the clientele or some of the seniors haven't thrived in quite some time. This is an outlet for them. They get in there and they become totally new people. You know, they join new clubs and they become volunteers. I mean, they become the backbone of our senior center. Um, I know that one of the events that you put on every year, which is coming up, uh, is the Inland Empire Senior Games. Tell me a little bit about this and sort of what are some of the activities, who are the folks that participate, and how can people uh, watch if they're not participating? Well, I'm going to start with how they can watch. They can just come to the event. Um, so Senior Games is a two-week sports tournament for those who are 50 years of age and better. And the sports that we have this year are pickleball, billiards, swimming, 5K, 10K walk and run, um, ooh, softball. <laughs> Cornhole, <laughs> Corn horseshoes. No, we don't have oh. horseshoes this year, All but right. next year we will. All right. And of course, next year we'll also have table tennis, archery. Um, I've seen you've had ax throwing at one yes. point. <laughs> we were trying to get ax throwing this year, but it did not come through, but that's okay. There's always next year. Are you surprised at the level of skill and talent oh. that some of these folks bring to these competitions? Some. Uh, the athletes are amateurs and some are professionals. I mean, professional in their eyes. Um, it's definitely a real competition. Um, they're definitely out there to win. They're not out there for fun and games. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, as a spectator, it's enjoyable to watch, to oh, yes. see the amount of, uh, what are the agony, the thrill of victory and the, the agony of the defeat, The agony, the say. thrill, the <laughs> aggravation, everything that comes with participating in sports, like the Olympics. Everything you see there, it's at one of our games. And this is taking place September 21st through October 3rd, multiple venues throughout the city. Yes. And as you said, it's for those, uh, how did you phrase it? 50, 50 years of age better. and better, yes. Tell me a little bit about the significance of saying that, 50 and better. These are not people who are just sitting at home crocheting. No. These are people living active, fulfilling lives, yes. making new connections, networking, making friends. It's not about, you know, waiting for the grandkids to come visit. Mm -hmm. It's about, you know, le learning to enjoy what exists in your community. Right. The 50 years of age and better came from uh, 
probably me calling someone old or older. <laughs> they hate it. They don't want to be called old. They don't even want to be called seniors. So for me, it's better. Um, you learn a lot working with seniors. They are definitely wisdom. Um, working with them. Oh, they're, they're walking wisdom. They're you, definitely you know. walking and wisdom. Again, when, you, when you bring a group of folks together, you're talking, you know, hundreds of years of collective wisdom. <laughs> See, they wouldn't like the hundred of years <laughs> well, you know, as a group, not you know, not as one person. But definitely, yes. Um, you learn new things every day and what they like and what they don't like. And senior games definitely shows us what type of sports they like and what they want to do and how they want to stay active, and how they want to be on this earth for longer than some. Well, and also how they want to enjoy the time they have. That like too. you said, it isn't about just you know declining and just you know marking no. the days. It's about what can you do with the time you have and the freedom that you have to not have to work, and you can now you know enjoy all the fruits of your life. Well, actually, some of my seniors still do work, and they still want to be involved. I mean, it keeps them active after work. So this is definitely a great mechanism for it. Well, we will be back with Lakeisha Jackson to hear more about all the great senior activities taking place in the city of San Bernardino right after these messages. Join us for our weekly Farmer's Market in San Bernardino. The Farmer's Market is ongoing every Tuesday at Court Street Square, located at 349 Northeast Street from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. This event features both farmers and hot food vendors. Come purchase fresh produce at the Farmer's Market and enjoy a nutritious lunch for the day. This is a certified farmer's market with fresh and quality produce grown by real farmers from the region. For more information, visit our website at sbcity.org forward slash parks. You can also call us at 909-384-5233 or email us at recreation at sbcity.org. See you there. Kids across America are going to school hungry every day. With help from caring people across America, No Kid Hungry is providing healthy meals and hope to hungry kids so they can build better futures. Learn more at helpnokidhungry.org. Well, I'm talking with Lakeisha Jackson, who oversees senior services for the city of San Bernardino through the Parks and Recreation Department. There's another event that I want to make sure people know about. It is the Senior Health and Resource Fair. That is coming up Friday, October 4th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the 5th Street Senior Center. What are some of the things that are happening on that event? So this is a block party this year. We are turning it into a full block party on F Street. Um, we will be providing health screenings, um, senior nutrition, um, nutritional classes, bingo classes, health and fitness classes. Um, we also just got the animal control services involved. Um, we will be pro providing health screenings, um, free food distributions, um, any resources that are beneficial to those to everyone actually, it's not really just for seniors, but um, it's for everyone, all the resources that are needed. And how important is it to offer those type, that, div that diversity, that variety of resources through the different programs that you put on? Um, some of these seniors, we are the hub and the seniors don't have a mechanism of getting those resources. So our purpose and our goal is to make sure that they get them and they can come to us, whether it's during a senior health and resource fair, but any other day to get housing resources, food resources, transportation resources. But the health fair is the day where we bring all different types of resources out and make sure that they have them. I hate to bring up a stereotype, but it seems <laughs> like it's not just bingo. No. You're not just putting on bingo no. and shuffleboard. These are real resources that can make a difference in people's lives, that can make a difference in people's health. How important to you is it to offer those things beyond just that sort of social and recreational uh, events and, and programs? It's, it's my life at this moment. Um, other than, of course, my own life outside of work, it's my life to make sure that they have these resources. It's my chore, my daily um, duty when I come into work every morning to make sure that they have them. You hear the stories, you hear, you hear a lot um, in the course of the 14 years I've worked there, and I just strive to make sure they have better. There is another great event that happens every year, and I want to make sure we don't forget to mention it. It is the Ollie McDonald Senior Talent Showcase. Give me the rundown. What is this event? This has been going on for many, many years. Uh, I think this is their 36th wow. year. Um, and these are seniors these singing, <laughs> dancing, performing, all Magicians, different types of... I mean... Jugglers? Uh, jugglers. Um, 
we've had a little bit of everything, even those who just want to stand in the back and look nice. But you got to uh, audition. Yes, you do have to audition. Even I have to audition. Uh, <laughs> And I'm just the announcer. <laughs> so this is definitely a good socialization. This is a way to get seniors to come out of their shell. So for people to sort of save the date, when are auditions likely to take place next? Um, end of November, beginning of uh, December. And then the showcase itself would take place? April 2025. Okay, any tips on what you're looking for in terms of people who might wanna? We are looking for everyone. Um, actually, we would love for, if you are a senior and you have a grandkid and you guys have talent, we would love something new this year. All right. What's the most amazing act you've seen? Um, God rest Miss Jenny's soul, but she was uh, a juggler. Um, she did every musician or every uh, circus act ever, and wow. she even sang and danced. And could still, and she, still up, had all the moves? Up until her 90s. Wow. Up in, I mean, I wish I had that type of stamina, <laughs> but she was great. She was lovely. I, I'm, I would say I missed the old days before Ollie, I mean, before COVID, but... Um, now we're branching out and we're trying to do a little bit more. We're trying to turn it into a production, like a full out play for seniors. So many wonderful things happening. I want to make sure people know how to find out more. You can go to sbcity.org slash parks, click on senior services. Mm -hmm. You can email seniors at sbcity.org or you can call 909-384-5430. Lakeisha, thank yeah. you so much for being on the no, program. thank you for Wonderful having things me. happening in the community. Thank you. Visit IEAlive.com.